everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Sword Art Online Lost Song. And on this episode, we are once again doing some side missions, extra quests, and today, for the first time ever, I'm controlling Shinon. And uh, let me just say, I'm loving using the bow, it's really, really cool. And uh, the rest of my team is Asuna and Kirito, but first things first, I want to just go through my skills so that you guys can see what I have right now. Oh, sorry, I was supposed to go over to battle. This is my magic at the moment. Okay, so let's go over to my other characters. Actually, I don't need to go to my other characters. You guys know what they are and uh, what they have at the moment because I've gone through those quite a bit. So. This is the best bow that I've got right now. I do need to try and get a better bow, but it's pretty decent. Right, I'm doing some side missions. The first one I'm doing is this one. Now, I'm not going to go through like killing all of these because we are at zero. So what I plan on doing is just cutting this video quite a lot and just showing the location of each of these monsters. Um, for ones that are like 15, I might kill them all on camera, but otherwise I'm just showing you guys the location so that you know where they are and where to find them, um, just for the walkthrough purposes of this Let's Play, really. So if that doesn't interest you, then you can always just skip the video, I guess. But uh, like I said, I'm using Shinon, so this should be quite fun. So we're going to go ahead and kill a couple of these, first of all. この調子でどんどん頼むぜ。しな。これで仕留めるわ。まだ切れたみたいに。これでも食らいなさい。この調子で行きましょう。これでも食らいなさい。Half a bit. It is nice, the ability to attack from a distance. So I'm just using my uh, Dragon Companion at the moment. Okay, so moving on to the next mission. Okay, so now we're in the northwest part of the island and we are going to go ahead and kill some Un for this side mission here, False God. Okay, 
take this. Oh yeah, I really like using the bow, guys. Okay, so on to the next quest. Okay, so once again we are in the Dark Wasteland and we are in Fimble's Labyrinth. We are doing this quest here to defeat 10 heavy guardians. So it's in the left hand side of the labyrinth. So we just gotta wait for them to respawn now. So yeah, I've actually picked up a few uh, unidentified items. I got a new bow, but I don't know if it's going to be any good. There we go, mysterious bow. Oh, I've actually got a very mysterious bow, so that could be a nice rare bow, but we shall see. Okay, on to the next quest. Okay, so we're now in another labyrinth within the Dark Wasteland, Frizzy's Labyrinth, and we are now going to do this quest here, 15 Cockatrice. I had to actually uh, return to town and get some more teleport crystals and escape crystals because I've ran out. Uh, literally, I've come to this dungeon pretty much last. But that said, I did find two more uh, caverns, I guess. They weren't quite like this um, cave-like areas. And uh, I found a boss room. There wasn't like a big boss in there. It was like uh, loads of scorpion monsters, but they were level 700, so they were quite strong. So bear in mind I'm not killing all 15, I'm just killing a few. The idea is to just show where they are located in the dungeon and uh, then cash it in at the end. So how many did we just kill? Five. So we'll let them respawn one more time and then I will cut the video. And we've only got one mission left to do and then I can go cash them all in and we shall identify all the weapons that I've obtained on this video. And I think on the next episode guys, rather than do these boring quests, I'm going to start doing some of the uh, big bosses again with different team setups. I'm not using characters that I don't like though. Don't expect me to use a gill because I dislike his weapon. It's too slow. I suppose I could change his weapon to something else, but I don't know, that would require training up. Okay guys, so it turns out the other mission, Fron, is actually in this particular labyrinth as well. So this mission here, 15 Fron, and uh, it's these monsters here. There's quite a few variations of these as you've already seen in this video. This one's like a dark reddish 
hull there, so just look out for that one for this mission. Uh, I really hate this monster, I've said it before. Just because it does that charge attack where it keeps using its blades and then uh, if it knocks you down, you just stay on the ground. So, I'm just going to finish these missions off camera now that I've shown you guys the locations of them and then I shall return and uh, cash in the mission and uh, show you guys the items that I'm identifying at the smithy. Okay, so we're now back in town. I've 100% completed all of the side quests that we selected for this particular video. Uh, the pure steel one was a bit of a pain. The area I recommend actually is... Uh, where is it? There we go, that dungeon there, Dark Eudrasil. There seems to be a lot of pure steel in there, um, so I recommend getting that from there. And um, yeah, the Hurons were the monsters with blades, and that's confusing because there's a lot of different types, so I just be aware of that when you lock on. I seem to get muddled up on this episode. Anyway, before we cash them in, we need to go ahead and identify all the weapons that we just got. See if we've gotten any new powerful weapons. Yes, uh, so that's S rank. And that's weaker. This was a new one we got on the last episode. I'm just going to sell these two. I'm not going to need all of these. Whoa, I got loads of Axe of Fears. I don't need them all though. Vendetta's weaker. ありがとな。ありがとな。いらない Oh, so we did. We got a more powerful bow. It's a shame that it doesn't have any status effect though. So it's probably more worth my while to keep this one on for now. For the extra status effect. I'll probably switch over to that one though. I'll keep it for now just so I know what it's called. And I think I got some shields. Yeah. That one's new. I'll get rid of it though because it hasn't got an effect on it. That hasn't got an effect on it either, so that can go. Can go. Not sorted through my shields in a while. And that's it. So let's go and cash these in. And then we'll check out the other quests that we've got available. I'm not going to do the gathering ones though. I mean, most of the time it tells you where they are, to be honest. It says, you know, what location and that they can be found in Labyrinth. So I suppose it doesn't really matter if I don't include all of the missions because, you know, it does tell you where they're located anyway. So it's not a huge loss. Let's have a look. So we're just a load of gathering which are all from 
extra quests or multiplayer quests, so I can just select those at the same time. So, now we're on to extra quests, which I think is what you guys mainly want to see, isn't it? So yeah, I'm going to be doing these on the next episode. Like I said, I'm going to be working my way up from the bottom, though, uh, to the hardest one. I feel like that's going to be the best thing to do. I don't know if I'm going to cover all of these, or if I'm just going to select certain ones. Um, we shall see, I haven't decided yet. But I also want to start heading online as well and do some online multiplayer. So don't forget to like, comment, favourite and share the video guys. It really does help me out as a YouTuber. And as always, thank you for watching.